They might be small, but insects rule the planet. They make up over two-thirds of the world's 1.5 million known animal species. They're also responsible for pollinating three-quarters of global crops while forming the backbone of our food chain. Despite their numbers, insects may be in trouble. Scientists estimate 40% of insect species are in decline and a third are endangered. Adam Yamaguchi looks at how their loss could impact life on Earth. When we run our honeybee business out of our home, Florida beekeeper Alicia Bixler has made it her life's calling to protect honeybees. We rely on them for so much pollination. Apples, almonds, blueberries, pumpkins, avocados, macadamia nuts. Bixler is one of over 100,000 beekeepers in America today who are, in part, responsible for bringing back the number of honeybees from mass colony collapse over 15 years ago. But habitat loss, the use of pesticides, and climate change are threatening other insects of all shapes and sizes. So this is the female. Including the not-so-glamorous dung beetle. This is called the rainbow scarab, and, and you can see that they do look like a puppy dog with their little antennae out. Oh my God. <laughs> and yeah, it just pooped on Yeah, that. it did. <laughs> <laughs> Means it likes you. <laughs> Entomologist Kimberly Sheldon and her team from the University of Tennessee are studying what happens to dung beetles in a warming climate. Are you concerned about beetles and, and what the future holds? I am concerned about beetles. Sheldon collects dung beetles into a greenhouse to better understand how they might fare in the future. However, in the greenhouse, the soil temperatures in that bucket are warmer and more variable. So it's actually realistically simulating what's happening with climate change. But now, Sheldon says smaller dung beetles are having trouble digging deep enough to protect their offspring from the warming climate and extreme temperature swings. A troubling sign for the insects that aerate and provide nutrients in soil. A critical service for agriculture and vegetation. Getting rid of feces, getting rid of dead bodies, getting rid of all the kind of horrible decomposing work is done on this kind of grand scale. We don't really think about it. We don't like to think about it. Writer Oliver Millman, author of the book Insect Crisis, says the massive die-off of insects is as consequential to life on Earth as climate change. The dung beetle, really important disposing of waste that would otherwise carry all kinds of diseases, pathogens that would be passed between animals and humans. And while climate change is contributing to insect population declines, the loss of dung beetles may in turn exacerbate extreme swings in temperature, creating something of a climate doom loop. Do dung beetles serve a function in, let's say, climate regulation? Dung beetles reduce greenhouse gas emissions from things like cow pies. This is endlessly fascinating. I, I had no idea that the dung beetle was this important. I mean, arguably has the worst job in the world. But... Well, I think the dung beetles don't think it's a bad job. <laughs> right, right, right. There's a thing for everybody in this world, and hey, if that's your, you know. Though we often look to animals like the polar bear as the poster child of the climate crisis, according to Millman, insects are just as deserving of our attention. Insects around the world, they're the pilots of the plane. We're at the back, we're the passengers drinking a martini. So they're piloting the plane. We're out back having a drink, but we do have a, a significant impact. Yeah, we are, we're kind of like kicking down the door of the cockpit and messing around with the pilot. We're doing terrible things to their in, uh, environment, habitat destruction. But this is really dry dung. Back in Tennessee, Sheldon says the lowly dung beetle just might be the unsung hero doing its critical duties like for the planet. It sounds almost foundational for life on Earth. Yeah, that's why people have described insects as the little things that run the world, because they're really that important. For CBS Saturday Morning, Adam Yamaguchi, <laughs> Knoxville, Tennessee. Every creature does its part. I know you guys have been requesting more stories about dung beetles. <laughs> Pooping. Be Pooping dung I will beetles. say it was fascinating. It was yeah, fascinating. It's, it very, it's very fascinating. Yeah. And important. Do you have a punchline? There's I, something. <laughs> I, I Maybe not the PG line. version. No, they were just rolling it into the balls of yeah. dung. Dung. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we all create dung. Keep that yes, in mind. Yes, that is. Somebody's got to clean it up. Thank you for the insight, Michelle. <laughs>